Defense Department upgrading America's aging nuclear arsenal. The U.S. will spend more than three quarters of a trillion dollars replacing our aging nuclear defenses, including new stealth bombers, submarines, land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles, also known as ICBM. Analysts say it's the most ambitious nuclear weapons undertaking since the Manhattan Project, which resulted in the world's first atomic bomb. We're joined now by retired U.S. Army General, General uh, Major General, excuse me, William Inyart. Thank you so much. Uh, Major General, for being here. We've, we've spoken before. Is this coming as a result of public pressure or as some proof uh, that we are invested as much in our defenses as we are in a place like, say, Ukraine's? Oh, good morning, Adrian. Uh, you know, certainly um, there has been talk uh, in the Pentagon for uh, years now about upgrading our uh, nuclear arsenal. So uh, while we uh, continue to maintain and, and test our nuclear capabilities, uh, these weapon systems are getting quite old and, uh, and uh, approaching the end of their technological lifespan. So uh, the cost of doing this is, as you point out, going to be a real budget buster. It is a budget buster, but an interesting timing. Why now? Why was this not done sooner if we had such a old system? Well, as I pointed out, we, we maintain these weapon systems and we uh, constantly uh, do uh, tweaks to upgrade them, uh, but we're looking at some major uh, replacements here. And of course, uh, you know, just as you pointed out in, in the prior story, uh, with these uh, very complex weapon systems like the F-35, uh, you have uh, issues uh, maintaining them because they are so highly complex. And you, you can have one little bitty part uh, go wrong somewhere and it throws the whole system out of whack. So we have to ensure that any uh, technological improvements we make uh, are uh, maintainable and, and are Perfect, because we don't want anything less than perfection in these nuclear weapons. Compare our aging nuclear arsenal to what China has right now, or Russia, or Iran. Uh, what threat are we under if we didn't do a single thing to improve the systems? Well, you know, certainly our nuclear arsenal is the is uh, quite large. Uh, the two largest nuclear arsenals in the world, number one is Russia, number two is the U.S., uh, the uh, China is far behind. China has about 10 percent. Uh, Iran, uh, as far as we know at this point, does not yet have nuclear weapons. They uh, are clearly on a path to developing nuclear weapons. Uh, but uh, nuclear weapons are a very complex weapon system, and you have to have not only the weapon itself, but you have to have delivery capability. Uh, so the, uh, the Russian delivery capability is, is not uh, as good as ours. Uh, but they have uh, several more weapons than we do. Uh, however, the, the, these weapons are such that uh, you you can destroy the world uh, with far less than our full capability or far less than the, than the Russian capability. Well, yeah, I, I think it's important to put these things into context because, as as we know, there has been a lot happening with Russia. There's been a ton happening with China and their efforts of espionage here, even stateside. Uh, let's talk briefly about what China is doing to upgrade its Navy and how we are making upgrades ourselves with our own Navy to combat any projected attempts at further espionage. Um, well, China is certainly uh, continuing to upgrade its Navy. Uh, it now has uh, a third aircraft carrier uh, very close to being ready to go. Uh, the Taiwanese predicted that it will be uh, fully capable in 2025. It, it is approaching the 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 uh, finished state to where it can actually go to sea trials. With that third aircraft carrier, uh, China will become number two in naval aviation capabilities in the world behind us. We have 11, so we have a significantly larger capability than the Chinese do. Uh, they're also building some new frigates. Uh, a frigate is a smaller ship than a destroyer. Uh, primarily, they're used for escort duty and, and anti-submarine uh, uh, capabilities. China wants to be able to control uh, the areas around Taiwan. They know that in order to retake Taiwan, they're going to, or in order to take Taiwan, they're going to have to be able to control the sea lanes. And certainly China has the uh, in-state goal of being the number one uh, naval power in the Indo-Pacific region. Uh, but China uh, does not uh, have anywhere near the worldwide capabilities that the U.S. Navy does.
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.